My name is Heidi Zimmer and I'm a Senior Scientist with the Office of Environment and Heritage. Today we're checking on the Wallamai Pine Translocation Site, also known as the Wallamai Pine Insurance Site. The insurance site um, includes about 150 Wallamai Pines that are surviving out of the 190 that we planted out about six years ago. And so we've got Wallamai Pines of different sizes from about 30 centimetres to about two metres that are growing here in the wild um, that we're keeping an eye on. Today we're coming to check on the cone production and so that's a really exciting thing this year is that we've had female cones produced on these Wallamai Pines for the first time. Female cones means that we have seeds and seeds are really, really exciting because they're the first step of creating a new generation of Wallamai Pines here. So when we planted the pines out, you know, we didn't know how they would go and we found that they've grown really well and survived really well and now now they're producing their own, their own babies, their own seeds, um, and that's kind of the first sign that maybe the population will become self-sustaining in the future, that they'll continue to grow and make babies, and, and yeah, that, that it's been a bit of a success. The Wallamai Pine is one of, the, um, one of New South Wales' most iconic species. It's also a critically endangered species. There are less than a hundred of Wallamai Pines left in the wild. And where they are in the wild is in a really small area and it's at risk from anything like fire or disease. And so this extra little population that we've made out here will help sort of as an insurance policy for those, for those pines that are out in Wallamai National Park. <laughs>